Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Soul Eater episode number 47. Alright, uh, the previous episode it was uh, Black Star had a little bit of potion in it and in that potion uh, Black Star got badly defeated and that is the, the reason behind it is obviously like uh, extremely apparent that is Black Star kind of went off the rails like uh, his uh, like running behind the power kind of made him I don't know like uh, like kind of reckless and everything and that was kind of like the main reason also like Mifune had a kind of a history with uh, Black Star's dad that is White Star and uh, he saw him uh, going into the like the path of the darkness and he already like uh, like uh, experienced that with uh, White Star, so Mifune kind of also cut down Black Star so that he also does not follow the same path his dad did. And I'm not sure what's going to happen now, but I hope like Black Star comes back to his senses and he like starts to like uh, keep a hold of himself and not like uh, fuss too much about like power, power like definitely you should become powerful like his dream is becoming powerful and like surpassing god but that should like uh, he should also keep it in mind that uh like like running behind power is okay but don't run so much that you lose uh i mean uh lose uh, yourself in that power like get drunk of that power like you should not do that so let's see what actually happens and also in the end we saw um <laughs> Like a kid confronting Shinigami about uh, Avon, and it turns out it was just something that uh, was probably like not so secret. It felt as if uh, it felt as if something like that. Like Shinigami just said, like, "Okay, I'll go. I'm going to tell you." So let's see what it actually is. Avon kind of materialized, and now that like he's going to use brew. Let's see how actually powerful is it and who is Avon, what is all this secret and what is actually happening in Shibusen. Uh, so yeah guys, um, without further ado, let's get started with episode number um, 47 of Soul Eater. Also, um, Soul Eater is going to end, uh, it's 47, so 3, 4, 4 more episodes or 5 more episodes I think. Uh, so yeah, uh, the replacement poll is below, please be sure to go and vote because I'll start uh, the show that gets the most vote uh, replacing this one like soul eater so be sure to go and vote there so yeah let's get started all right uh, as always i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go oh okay Oh, Black Star. Mifune is something else. Like, he. I don't know. Like, the difference between him and Blaster is like. Of, is of like. In, like extremely big so obviously like Mifune is someone who I think it's samurai and I'm sure he is extremely I don't know disciplined and is like focused and everything oh what the hell Oh my god. Okay, what is this? Oh, uh, it's the sword's memory, isn't it? I'm guessing something like that. Because we can see the sword lying uh, beside those people. Hmm. Alright. 
yeah as i was saying like mifune is someone who is i'm not sure the way obviously like uh, like black star is someone like who like goes uh, like just head on just like that like he is more like uh, like just go and fight and like power type of guy black star but mifune is more like uh keep like calm cool as like samurais are always like only one strike and that strike will hit you so bad that it, it will be the end of you so and also like mifune it seems like he is like obviously he had history with history with white star so he is like in this like job for quite a long while so it's obvious that he would win like the experience that he has is like of heaven and like uh, of a difference uh, like comparing it to black star so i don't know like let's see like obviously i think black star won't be able to beat him even if he like comes to his senses because experience like that's the main factor here okay oh free yeah what are they going to do now yeah so what are you going to do now bail out yeah oh they're all <laughs> oh no what weird coincidence oh lord roba wait a minute is this going to like <laughs> okay oh so i'm I'm guessing Brew is something like that, like it's going to transform the whole death city into a robot or something. <laughs> it's going to like... Okay, the title kind of gave it up. And I'm... I think it's something like that. Oh. All right. Oh, that's the key. Okay. Hmm. Wheelers desire. Oh. Okay. All right. So that's why I didn't didn't want to like leave it in the bad guy's hand. Ah. Uh. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Sorrow. Betrayal. Okay. Okay. 
It's going to okay. I activate the brew. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> New weapon, all right. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I don't think she can do that. Oh. Oh, what is this? All right. Oh, wait, what is happening? What the? Oh, it's transforming. <laughs> Yeah, the title kind of gave it up, like what's actually going to happen. Yeah, it's going to transform into a robot or something. What the hell? <laughs> oh my god. I was not expecting this. Oh my god, that's kind of mm, creepy. All right. Nakatsukasa. Bid you farewell. Oh, he's going to die because of that? Something like that? Oh, I've lost. Part of him. Oh, by fear itself. Yeah, all of the other souls. What, what was that? Where's Subaki? Okay. <laughs> okay, come on, Black Star, now snap out of it. Like. Okay. Oh, what's that? Oh, Subaki, isn't it? The Subaki, isn't it? Or yeah, yeah. 
Okay, but one thing I'm not sure about. How did he recover from that fatal blow? Oh my god. Oh my god, what? The what is that? At least he's back to his senses. Like previous in the previous episode he was kind of going off in his own direction. Like his eyes changed and everything. Yeah, he's still afraid. All right, let's go. Now with the like power unleashed from uh, like from the weapon I think he can probably stand up to Mifune now. Like he himself in, is inexperienced, experienced, but his weapon is pretty strong. So yeah, I think that will like fill up the void of the power that he has, or the experience that he does not have. Oh, oh right. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh. Yeah. Well, the weapon was strong. Black stars. All right. Yeah, that witch, I uh, forgot the name. Oh, is it, are they going to ask him to? Yeah. Okay, this is good. If he really does become a teacher. But one still, still things still do not get is why were he was he working for um uh, Arachne like were they blackmailing him or something like some kind of thing like that or was this all right let's see now what's happening here <laughs> Justin <laughs> oh my god Justin is amazing. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> wait, seriously? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He says something about like just kill everyone. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, Sid. And I think this is uh, de uh, Death City Robot or Robot or whatever its name is. Haha, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> so weird things are happening in this episode. Like, suddenly the city becomes a robot. Like, what? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> oh my god. Are this in the manga? I'm not sure about this. Like, I, I think like these are like some anime original episodes. Like at the end, I, I'm not sure about that. The clouds are also, <laughs> the clouds are also walking with him. <laughs> oh my god. That's a weird looking robot, like what is that? <laughs> oh lord. Uh. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Like, if you cannot leave the city, take the city with you. <laughs> it's more like that. <laughs> oh boy.
Okay, his desire was... All right, all right. So the city was not a robot. <laughs> like his desire con like made it like that. Like Avon said that uh, the desires will shape the result. So yeah, okay. All right, that's more believable. Like if someone says that that city was... Uh... Oh. <laughs> oh my god. A spider versus a skeleton. Who will win? Ah, uh, spider versus a whole city. Sorry. <laughs> skeleton city. Yeah, come on. <laughs> oh my god. What the hell is happening in this episode? <laughs> oh! Uh, ah. Pesky spider scurrying away. <laughs> Oh no, what's it going to do now? Oh, she didn't get me job. <laughs> Missed. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Ah, got him. Okay, like... Oh! It's laser beamed eyes. Squash it. Yeah. Eyes... Eye poker! <laughs> Oh my god, what is this? Oh. Killing mover. Uh, move. Uh. Raging flip. Alright. <laughs> okay, now the spider can't. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Oh, what's happening? Oh, clairvoyant is using him, uh, her as a medium. Okay, there. Yep. All right, let's go. Oh, they're upside down now. Currently, that means. <laughs> Okay, bail now. Ooh. And it's up again. Oh! Wow, that's like electric conducting webs. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> Inexcusable. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and that's the end. And yep. <laughs> oh, wow. Took Kishin with them. Okay. Oh. What the? What? This is... What, what is this? What was this episode? Like, the first part was... Okay, like, the whole thing with Black Star, but... After then, like, suddenly, what happened? <laughs> like... Oh my god! <laughs> I'm not sure what, like... 
Now, like, here's a question. Does this really happen in the manga? Like, this is something like, like bizarre. Like, I'm not sure what this was. Like, the later half of this episode. <laughs> Especially at the end, like the, the the death city of the robot, like robotified death city, like eating kitchen like that, like. Oh my god, what? <laughs> Sorry. Okay, now, I have a few things to discuss here, like... I'm not sure if I got what actually happened there, but how did, like, uh, Blackstar's wound heal? Like, what was that? Like, previous episode, we saw him getting slashed badly by Mifune. He fell down, and there was like a pool of blood. And then after like him confronting uh, Nagats Nagatsukasa was his name, wasn't it? The like deer. After confronting it and, and like uh, him f finding his resolver and like getting back his confidence, he stood up. Where was the wound? What, what happened? Like how did he heal? Like I'm not sure about that. Like what was that suddenly? And that and uh, the other thing, obviously, I understand, like, it is kind of understandable because uh, <coughs> Blackstar himself is inexperienced. Inexper and I think his fear was the thing. Uh, his fear, his in kind of a little bit of inferiority complex was, like, stopping him from wielding the full power of um, the weapon. And that's also the reason why, like, Subaki was not able to fully unleash her power. And that, like, and the fact, like, that fact also kind of, like, weighed uh, him down. And uh, Blackstar felt bad about it and felt uh, powerless about it. So that, on top of that, it kind of also, like, burdened him. That he was holding Subaki uh, down, uh, uh, like, holding her back. So all of those things, I think, was the main uh, thing behind him being unable to unleash the full power of the blade. But uh, after him uh, getting like slashed and him confronting the deer again and seeing all of the like souls that had fallen off uh, like before him, he uh, found his resolve and he was able to unleash the power. And I think that was the reason why he was able to cut down Mifunia so easily after that because obviously he is like uh, by experience, he is nowhere near Mifune. But with Mifune's weapon is like a normal sword, a normal katana. So <coughs> Mifune's experience and his like uh, like techniques and sword prowess was the only thing that like defeated um, Blackstar at the first place. But then uh, after he like stood up again, uh, the uh, the demon blade power uh, being unleashed fully, he was able to cut down Mifune because of the weapon solely. And uh, like I still think that if the, the weapon was not with him, if he was fighting with Mifune uh, to, with a normal weapon, he would have like uh, lost again. But since uh, he was able to unleash the full power of the uh, like weapon, his weapon, he was able to defeat Mifune. Like uh, that is understandable. But I still don't understand how his wound healed. Like what was that? Like how did it actually happen like that? Like after he like stood up, there was not even any wound. He was like clean every and everything. Like where did like how and like what happened there? I'm still not sure about that. And obviously uh, after that he was able to defeat Mifune. And um, I'm guessing Mifune will also like <laughs> join them and uh, as like Blackstar said like become a teacher. <laughs> and, and another thing I still do not get it why in the first place was Mifune helping Arachne like why like he is a bodyguard obviously I know like he is kind of a, a mercenary and he like <coughs> in um, like uh, like in exchange of money he like provides his services but I don't know, like, I doubt he would have, like, uh, helped Arachne even for money. So what was the reason behind him helping Arachne and uh, them, like, doing all of these kind of things? 
like what was the real reason was he blackmailed uh, or something else like we saw uh, the witch the little witch who sh he was like so keen on protecting um, was like under their like cus not custody but was with them what with arachne mosquito so were they somehow like um blackmailing him with that or something else i'm still not sure about that like why was he like helping them in the first place because mifune doesn't seem like a person like that so yeah like <coughs> these were like the questions that are still um hovering in my mind uh anyways um okay and that that was like the first part of the show but then it suddenly <laughs> started going going crazy and um now at the beginning i thought that uh death city itself was like a robot so like there was some kind of hidden me hidden mechanisms and avon kind of uh, like would have like helped it to unlock it or something and then like it will become this huge robot but turns out and uh, that is a little bit incorrect like uh death city was not a robot uh like uh the as far as i understood like uh, shinigami is a uh, person not a person but uh someone who due to his like uh, soul protecting the whole death city he was unable to help anyone like if some kind of fight breaks out he is confined in his own place he cannot leave the city because if he leaves the city the city will be vulnerable and people might like attack it so yeah he was like just sitting d down unable to help anyone unable to do anything even though he was the strongest now shinigami activating the abon and abon being the device uh, that uh, like uh, <clears throat> made desires uh, real that is uh, like someone's hidden not hidden but someone's desires would come into fruition uh, by using um abon's abon's tool so uh brew being that uh, when activated by shinigami it kind of made his desire of being able to help others uh when they are also like fighting and everything like being able to fight alongside them it kind of like made it true in a weird way like it is more like if you cannot like go <coughs> like if you are like bound to the city and you cannot go outside the city without uh like destroying that uh defensive mechanism you should take the city with you like that's the like simplest type of solution and that's what happened uh shinigami being unable to go out of the city he started taking the city with him and said city uh, became a robot like that was basically what happened as far as i understood so <coughs> if <coughs> excuse me if shinigami was not the person who activated brew if someone else was the uh, person who activated brew uh, the city wouldn't have become a robot it would have been something else the person uh, <coughs> what he desired or he or she desired would come in, like into like like will be fulfilled and uh, an, another outcome would be uh, would come out so obviously it depends on the person who is like activating it or using it so that's the reason why the city become became a robot because obviously uh, shinigami needs to go and fight and yeah city becoming the robot is the easiest method i guess <laughs> oh boy <clears throat> okay yeah that is uh, like something quite um like unique this uh, episode like took a unique turn but i i understood that but after that what started happening like <laughs> there was like a weird like section of them kind of like <laughs> like uh <clears throat> mosquito kind of like scurrying around with that thing and <laughs> shingami trying to squash it and trying to capture it and then suddenly like uh, shinigami was successful somehow and captured uh, kishin and ate it like <laughs> like what was that at the end <laughs> that was weird <laughs> oh boy that was kind of funny anyways so okay uh, so they have kishin with them now uh i'm not sure what they're going to do now and let's see like <clears throat> the whole kishin thing is i'm still not sure about his actual power he's like uh people like obviously from the others we can see that he not see but we uh are under the impression that he is the strongest 
<coughs> out of them all but we have still not seen any kind of his power only that like brief section in the uh, in one of the previous episodes where we saw uh, Kishin uh, having a fight so that was the only brief section we got to see his power for a little amount of time so let's see um it's almost the end so i'm guessing we should probably get to see kishin's whole power soon but i'm not sure what is actually going to happen now like shinigami can like fight i'm guessing because obviously uh where like he can take the city with him now so i'm guessing shinigami will also start uh, participating in the fights as well and i'm really um curious and really like uh like i'm i really want to see how he fights and what his actual powers are and <clears throat> yeah like obviously shinigami is the strongest of the sh in this in the shibusen and kishin is the strongest amongst the other people i'm guessing so will we get a uh, shinigami versus kishin who knows let's see because obviously uh, I doubt Maka Soul they are like uh, enough like strong enough to handle Kishin. I doubt that. So obviously I think uh, Kishin uh, was like Kishin is only comparable to Shinigami in power levels. So most probably Shinigami will uh, step up now uh, and like he will join the fight. Let's see. Oh, oh, and also like Stein is also back. So. Like Stein being the strongest master, he is also a strong enough contender for Kishin. But will he be able to match Kishin? Who knows? Like the power levels in this um, anime, especially the like enemy forces, is quite uh, I don't know. Like I cannot quite judge it because obviously, uh, like I don't know if Arachne, like how much strong is Arachne? Like will Arachne versus um? Let's see, uh, will Arachne versus Stein? <sighs> okay, Stein is pretty strong. So, will Arachne be able to keep up with Stein? I'm still not sure, and I'm unable to gauge her power level because of that. Obviously, she is. In <coughs> Arachne won't be able to compare to Shinigami, but can she uh, be comparable to Stein? Who knows? Uh, we saw that uh, Medusa was pretty strong uh, when, he, when she fought with her full power uh, in the like. <coughs> in a few episodes not few but uh, quite a few episodes um, before when like they the final battle behind between uh, medusa and shiniga uh, stein so she kind of fought with stein uh, on par with him but obviously stein was power more powerful so if arachne is as strong as medusa and even if uh, and if she is a little bit more stronger than medusa i'm guessing she can also like uh, like hold her ground if she started fighting with Stein, and yeah, like the power levels are kind of uh, like I cannot I cannot judge it proper like quite properly, because a lot of the enemy characters have still not shown their full power. So we'll see, uh, we'll see what actually is the case later on. But one thing we can like definitely be sure is uh, Kishin and Shinigami. These two are the strongest out of all of them. So yeah, so obviously I think those two like Shinigami versus Kishin will happen because of that. So let's see, uh, we'll get to know in the remaining few episodes, I'm guessing. <coughs> yeah, and one thing I also do not get is why was this whole thing like kind of like kept secret uh, to Kid? Like this is nothing um, bad. Like what? Like there's nothing to keep secret about. Like. Why were they like keeping it all uh, under wraps and like th there was this whole kind of at atmosphere of like it being a secret what is Ryu what is uh, Shibusen doing uh, behind everyone's back like there was this weird kind of tension and everything so what was that about then like this is like something I don't know like what is this like this is not nothing like bad like so why was was this all like kind of kept secret and all hush hush kind of thing and kid was like <laughs> starting to uh, <coughs> uh suspect uh, shinigami and everything like w what was that about then was that really some kind of a misunderstanding that kid had and also we had 
uh, who knows like <laughs> like a few weird type of like questions like this are like starting to pop out now and I'm I'm not sure if they will like answer all of them because it's almost the end and maybe I'm thinking like maybe that is really some kind of uh, mistake that kid had and also we also kind of had like uh, there was like this weird kind of thing where like it was kind of kept a uh, little secret like uh, the main uh, suspicious thing is like when um uh, uh you you guys remember that fisher or whatever the name was when like kid fought with it like when fisher was saying something about like uh abon and was trying to like divulge a secret uh it suddenly got killed and then like sid came in and sid was kind of like acting weirdly and after that like it's, it's like started to like build up suspicion like that was the reason why like kids started suspecting shibusen and also we as the audience started suspecting them but then suddenly like like these kind of things are happening and now that i'm seeing this like what was so bad what was like so bad that they had to like keep a secret about like there's no secret like it's just Avon is just a guy who like uh, made this kind of magic tools which were uh, which would have been used by the bad guys if they wanted to like destroy the world or something this kind of thing so they like uh, Avon kind of like kept it under high, high security and Shinigami like uh, now Avon like came here and said that yeah Shinigami I'm in, in like entrusting this to you save the world and like that was it so like where what is the secret like why w was this kept a secret then <laughs> Okay, like yeah, like uh, like these are like some kind of like weird kind of things that are like kind of popping out now. So who knows? Maybe there is some kind of reason. We'll probably get to know in the later episodes. Like there are still uh, four or five episodes left. So maybe in those episodes we'll get to know. Anyways, I won't think much about it. Uh, after it ends, maybe we will get to know about everything. <clears throat> All right. So. Yeah, that was this episode. Um, this episode uh, is kind of wild. <laughs> and let's see what happens in the next episode. Uh, I'm guessing we will get to see more about Kishin in the next episode. Uh, so, yeah. Anyways, guys, that was this episode. This was episode number... Um, uh, what was this episode? 47. Excuse me. This was episode number 47 of Soul Eater. So, if you guys enjoyed my reaction, press the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed. Uh, please be sure to do so and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to share be sure to comment down i'll check them out and uh, reply to them and also um i'm doing a poll i said before uh, it's down in the comment section uh, the anime that i will replace uh, soul eater with uh, that's the uh, that's what the poll is about so be sure to go and vote there because soul eater is going to end very soon um i think 47 48 uh, after like this week then another week will it will happen and then like one day so a matter of two and a half weeks uh, so it will end then I'll start a new anime from like uh, the animes which are listed in the poll uh, so yeah uh, be sure to like go and vote there and so yeah uh, that's it guys uh, I'll be back with a new soul later episode after one day so until then goodbye and have a nice day